Hello again, gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm. Here's another video for you. This is my birthday present from yesterday that I told you I would do a video on. Um, it's a lovely uh, vintage jewelry box and it's got um, this awesome red velvet interior with mirror and uh, two trays for uh, rings, got rings and you know brooches, three sections here and then down here we've got an earring drawer with some earrings. This is all the stuff that came in it. Um, I kind of put it back in there a little more neatly so that I could show you the box with all the goodies in it. Um, but I'm going to pause now and dump everything so that I can go through it and show you everything. Um, be back in a minute. And we're back and ready to show you what was in there. Um, what are we going to start with? Cute little brooch. Little brooch. Black. Gunmetal. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Gunmetal. Rhinestones. Gray rhinestones. And then a gold rhinestone in the middle. Cute tiny little thing. Cute, cute, cute. Like it, like it, like it. Okay, earrings. Let's put the earrings. Oh, that's not earrings. That's pretty. Yeah, this one I liked a lot. This is a... It looks to be... Um, looks like the Ottoman Empire or something. Check that guy out. Or Indian. And it's like um, black enamel. But it's got a safety pin embedded in it so it's new but it's it's really cool it doesn't look new it looks like it should be an old piece so what I'm thinking is somebody went to an auction and got all this great stuff somebody's granny oh this is all the stuff that they went through already and this is the stuff they left in the box that nobody wanted and so it went to auction or something, and whoever it was that sold it to me must have went to an auction and got it. Apple seeds, apple seeds. Are they apple seeds? They, I heard that they were apple seeds, these brown thingies. They're different. They're kind of cool. It's, yeah, it's something I would wear, but I could throw that in a boho lot, no problemo. Give me a minute. Okay, and then we have this beautiful um, festival of <laughs> 1970s harvest colors. We have lovely orange, brown, and yellow, and they're really great uh, plastic. They're they're not um, lucite. They're not heavy enough. Uh, they're not resin because they're too sparkly, so they're pretty high quality plastic from the time. And you know, high quality and plastic is not two things you would think would go together, but in the jewelry world, they do sometimes. Put that aside to go in a lot. Maybe I'll do a 70s lot because look at this. This here screams night at the disco. I think I had one of these when I was 18 ish. 18, maybe. 16, 18, something like that. In them late 70s, the disco era. You know you want to go dancing. So, yeah, that'll go in a 70s lot, too. Um, oh gosh, where am I going to throw this stuff? I'm at my desk uh, for a change. <laughs> and, um,. Thinking that my desk ain't big enough, pretty much. Little Betty. Little Betty Bear with a heart. And who, who, what kind of... Oof. Wow, does that unscrew or what? That might be stuck on there, so... We'll fiddle with that later. Here's another pin. Little pin. American flag in gold tone. Um, usually see these in red, white, and blue. I like kind of like the gold one. Needle Bandito. 
uh, here's a lovely faux or CZ or something ring that has a mark in it and I've looked at that mark a bajillion times since yesterday and I still can't figure out what the heck it is but uh, it's meant to look like emeralds but yeah not quite it's a facsimile but not really a close facsimile here's another ring lovely vine gold tone vine design with little crystals and this one said oh what the heck I can't remember what it said beta or seta or something yeah I know I'm jerking it all around I don't think we're going to see it because my camera doesn't like to be friendly. Ooh, are we there? Is it now way too close? Ooh, Seda, it says, I think. And then it has two little circles. Okay, so we'll have to find out what that is. Earrings, earrings. Lots of earrings. Here's a pin. It looks like it's in Arabic, and it looks like it's trying to be a uh, Damascene, but it is not, because if you look, it's raised, this is raised above the black, and the black is just painted. I cannot see what it says. Let's see, let's see if we can't get the camera to be play nice. If you can see what that is, you let me know. I know it's, I see a, a, a copyright mark after it, or before it, or something. And then there's something down here. So if LP, is that LP? Mm-hmm. I cannot read that, and I'm not going to waste the time because time tends to run out on my camera, and you know how that is. You don't want to mess with that. Oh, 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 oh. These were in the top of the jewelry box. These lovely, uh, made in France, um, hair doodly doos. And I tend to collect, I collect everything, but I have really long hair down to my butt, so I love hair ornaments. And generally, if you can just give them a bath, you don't have to worry about anything. I'm not one to freak out over a little hair, because it ain't in my food, I ain't worried about it. Um, this is kind of worn. I wonder if oiling that would work. Hmm, we shall see. We shall see, but those are both made in France. They're kind of cool. Kind of cool. Hair. Oh, and here's the key to the <laughs> key to the jewelry box. I dumped that in there too. Here's an interesting little bracelet, which is kind of a shame that it's blistered on this bit right here. I love the design. It's got red leather. A little flower and then this piece isn't that cool I love that but it's blistery if that wasn't like that 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 would be a really neat piece as happens sometimes and these yes are are the real dealio here's my here it is I do have it with me, and I had not looked at the clasps on these last night. I did rub them on my teeth, and they are real, so let me look and see what they say. What the heck? Take off the glasses so you can see. Makes no sense, but you know how it is. Monet. 
Oh, that's Monet. The bracelet is Monet, and we don't know what this is. They're about the same size pearls, same color. I would assume this would be Monet as well, but the clasp does not look like it is. Oop. I think we just uh, got ones that don't really match, but were put together, curated as it were. And I'm talking into my hand so you can barely hear me, I'm sure. But these are lovely. These are knotted. And they're in great shape. And look at that. They're they're not the fakey ones. They're the real deal. Real deal. Real deal. I have so many pearls. I'm not even really collecting them, but I have a huge collection somehow. Somehow. Let's leave this out so that we can use it again if we need to. Here's the little... Actually, this is faux shell. This isn't even real shell. Little bitty bracelet. That'll go in a... That's probably going to go out to the yard sale. Put it in that, with that big box. Big box of bracelets. 25 cents each. Five for a dollar. <coughs> is what I'm planning to do. And that's this weekend. Um, but that looks like something the grandkids bought. Granny or something. Something to go. Oh my goodness, look at this. <gasps> That's the real thing. Look at that. Real thing. That's not real nothing. This is real. Actual Damascene. You can tell because it's smooth. You can tell the difference in the texture between the carbon and the gold. Because the carbon has like a sandy feel to it. I love Damascene, and this is only the second piece I've gotten, and that's what made me buy this whole big box, was that I saw this in the photographs, and I kind of knew it was the real deal. Pretty, pretty. That might make me my money back. Okay, more earrings. Wow, look at them little 80s earrings. Woohoo! This is an interesting one, two, three, four, five, six, six strand. Gold tone, lovely. Not in bad shape at all. It's actually in quite lovely shape, honestly. You move out the way. You move out the way. Look at that. That's so pretty. I don't know why it's showing up on the camera as being silver and gold. It's a really nice gold tone. Real smooth and nice shape. I wonder why it's showing up that way. That's weird. 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 And then we have another one. Another gold tony one. Where you at? Where you at? Where's the, where's the thingy? Where's the thing? I know this one's double strand. Ugh. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Look at the clasp on this. It's a little bit weird. So I'm thinking this is an an old one. Uh, it says patent pending on one side. And it says... What's it say on the other side? Monet. It says Monet on that side, I think. Eee, eee, let me see, real quick, let me look, let me look, let me look, yeah, pretty sure that's what that says, yeah buddy, that's another pretty one that's in really nice shape, look at that, and it's real long, Real long double strand. That looks to be from the 70s. A lot of this stuff looks like 70s. 70s. Here's another earring. Get off of the earring. Get off the earring. Get off the earring. There we go. Here's another interesting one. That is... 
What are you? You are also Monet. I don't know if you can see that, but... Ugh. Let's see. See? Money! Oop! I always go the wrong way. When I try to go back out, I always go in further. Hee <laughs> hee! It'll take me a minute, but this is in nice shape too, and it feels silky. Well, you know how a Monet is. It's always very good quality. So, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do okay getting back my money. And here is a lovely gold plate. Or is this the gold plate one? It's in really nice shape. And I know it says... I thought it said gold plated on it somewhere. Well, you'll take my word for it, I guess. It's one of those real heavy ones. It's got a, like, a really good coating of gold on it. Pretty, pretty. That's a nice one. Great. A lot of these are great for layering. Yes, yes. Alright, what's this? What's this? This one, I love this one. Garnet, turquoise, and amethyst. It's gorgeous, and it looks old. And it looks to be sterling... Or pewter, I don't know. I have to test it. But it's on this nice little chain. And look, it looks like the chain does not have... Where's the... Is that an over your head one? Look at that. There's no clasp. Well, that's decidedly odd. There is no clasp on this. Huh! Weird. Okay. You can go over there into pile. Earring. Let's get moving here. This is, I don't want to run out of... I don't want it to clip off at the end like it always does. Do, 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 do. Leah Sophia. Nice little with stations, rhinestone stations, and circles, and clear beads. That's a nice one for layering as well. And then we have this one. Oop, there's two things here. Here's another little gifty for grandmama from the grand whatever grandchild looks like. I got, look what I got you for Mother's Day, Grandma. That's cute. Cute. Put that in the kids' lot, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. This is a cool one. Really tiny. Choker. No name. No names on it anywhere. Looks like it's made of steel. And it's another six-strander. But, wow, it really needs to have a an extender on it, I think. Because... I mean, I could wear that, but it would be tight, and my skin is not like it used to be, so it wouldn't look very good. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope. That'll go on a lot. Oh, look at the little... Little guy with a... He got glitter in his belly. Little pin. That looks like a Hallmark thing. They did a lot of that kind of stuff. And here's a lovely CZ and gold plate. Uh, I have four of these. They're they're coming out of China these days. Um, I have four more of these, but they're in the silver tone, the steel. And they really do sparkle nice. The ones I have in silver are uh, have the you know the locks on the side. This one doesn't. It's still pretty, though. Still pretty, and I don't know what the heck 
that feels like styrofoam and it's really gross and it's 80s earrings okay here's a whole pile of looks like well that's not handmade but a whole bunch of earrings like a hand handmade like bleh, they're really strange and this feels like styrofoam it's really creepy 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 there's the other one of those there's the other one of those. You see what I mean? They're really kind of strange. Um, so we'll just put those aside real quick because... Yeah. Freak me out, man. Uh, now these are not freaking me out. These are pottery. Pottery. They look like Raku pottery. And they're also signed on the back. Now, if any of you ladies have seen this signature, please let me know because it's going to be a tough one. I can see that the last name starts with an A, but that isn't really going to help me much. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's uh, work together to try to figure those out because they look like they'd probably be some crazy high-end bullshit stuff. <laughs> This is not signed, but it's also um, pottery of some sort. These are nice. These are rhodochrosite, lovely stone earrings. I love this stone. It's such a pretty stone. Um, these don't have any marks on them. They're, they're, uh... oh, hey, look. They must have had, like, other stones with them. Because you can take these off of here. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even notice that when I went through this the first time. Those are cool. Alright, little glass. Stretchy. Whoop, got an earring stuck. Where's the other earring? These are nice. They're not cloisonne, but they kind of look like they want to be. And they also, ooh, they're signed. Sweet. Let's see. Ooh. 925. Really? How do you figure? I can't tell what the name is on it, though. Let's look at the other one. Huh, interesting. Let me look at this through the loop and see what we get. Because I see the 925, but I don't really know. A Y G O L. A goal. A goal. A. Ooh. A Y G U L with an umlaut over the U. That's weird. I think I don't. I don't know. I can't really tell what that is. That's that's going to bear more uh, more research. I do believe. And here's some more um, 80s earrings. Woohoo! Yay! These are a little better quality than those weird handmade ones. There we go. None of these are marked. Um, they're just kind of meh, got left in there because nobody wanted them. Didn't want that part of Grandma's legacy, I guess. These are interesting. See how one is copper and one is silver. Either she had two pairs of the same thing in different colors, or I need to rub the silver off of this one. But they don't, they feel like plastic, so I'm thinking she had two pairs that were, oh wait, no, they're pins. They're not earrings. Okay. Alrighty then, that's not what I expected. I thought they were earrings. Whee. Okay. Here's another one from the grandchild, I do, do assume. Little plastic beads, you know, you've seen them at the craft store a million times. Here's some seeds. Wood, seeds, I don't know. Wood or seeds, no marks. No marks. 
Here's a neat little guy. Doo -doo 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 -doo. He's a little, he looks to be a little Morris dancer, or does he have purple shoes on? Oh, it looks like he had um, some enamel on him at some point. I don't see a mark anywhere. He's neat, though. He's a cute little guy. Oh, wait, maybe he's a Tyrolean dancer. Look, he's got a little feather in his cap. Is he wearing later holes in? <laughs> maybe. We have a USA uh, Olympic pin from what year? Let's do this again. Oop, oop. Do this again. What year is that? No, I can't tell. I can't see. I can't see what it says. What? What is that you're saying? Um, it doesn't have a date. That's weird. But I think it's for, uh, one from the one from Russia because it had some weird letters on the back. Um, there's some little knots. Knots. Little knotty earrings. Those are cute. Nothing on the back. Nothing on the post. Nope. Okay, almost done. There's a JJ Cherry that is absolutely adorable. Adorable, I love it. And then we have this little bitty thing. Another gift from the grandchildren, I guess. It's got little hearts on it, little Aurora Borealis hearts. Mm -hmm. And then we have this last of the necklaces let's see can we get this to lay right kinda sorta it's got coins and dangles and coins and more coins wait where does this go the second one I like the dangles on that's neat Okay, so that goes there, and this goes here. Mm. This has got that kind, and this has got... Why does this have two on it? And that has one. And that has one. That's strange. Look at that. One, one, two. One, one. That's odd. That's like some cultural thing where it has to have a mistake or something. <laughs> I wonder where this is from. I I looked at it yesterday and didn't see any marks on it, so. Oh, well. Well, that is my birthday gift to myself. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, my favorite things from this are all of the Monet and I like the Leo Sophia. And where's that little... I really want to know what these guys are with the, with the name on the back. I want to know what those are. Um, where's that little... Where is it? This, of course, is my favorite piece. Because it is exactly what I wanted when I saw it in the box. Okay, so ending the video here. Uh... Please uh, subscribe and hit the bell so that you can be notified when I post a new video. I look forward to seeing you again soon. I have several more lots that I need to get through and a couple more coming in the mail. So I will see you all in the next one. Love you, ladies. Bye-bye.